So why does your sciatica flare up and why does it flare up at night or when you're sitting? If you've ever struggled to sit through a meal, drive a car or sleep through the whole night without getting pain going all the way down your leg, here are some of the common frustrations we hear from patients. Why does it hurt when I'm resting? Why does it not hurt as much when I'm moving? Whether it's sitting on the couch, in your car or lying in your bed, sciatica can flare up at the worst possible times. And whilst it might not seem like rest should make it worse, we often find that rest and not moving can make things worse for you. Here's a deeper understanding about why sciatica can increase in moments when you're not moving around. But first, here's a recap of sciatica and what it actually means. So sciatica is typically when you get irritation of the sciatic nerve, which runs from your lower back down into your buttock and down your leg and sometimes even down into your feet. It can feel as though it's an irritation or a nerve pain. Some people say it feels like electric or a burning sensation. And what we often find is it's from a bulging disc, herniated disc, could be a spinal misalignment, or in some cases it could be piriformis syndrome or a pelvic instability or imbalance. So why does sciatica get worse when you're sitting down? When you sit down, it actually flattens your lower back. And what that does is it actually increases pressure on the disc, in turn increasing pressure on these nerves. And whilst you might feel as though sitting should take pressure off those areas, it can actually increase the pressure of that disc and of the lower back. So when we're looking at the pelvis, that can sometimes also rotate or it can tilt, which in turn creates asymmetry in those areas. It could also be to you sitting on your wallet or sitting in different positions on the couch or when you're driving, but also when you're sleeping. So why can sciatica be worse when you're doing things that aren't as active as what you might think? So sitting in prolonged positions can increase pressure in the low back. It can increase pressure on those discs. And if you're sitting, sleeping in the wrong positions, it can actually increase pressure on those nerves, which join up to form the sciatic nerve, which then runs down your leg and can increase those symptoms.